today we're going to occupy our offices. As you know, the Bible says in 1 Peter 2 verse 9, it says that you and I are a royal priesthood, meaning that we're kings and priests. Also to remind you that the word also tells us in Revelations 1, 6, it says he has made us kings and priests to our father. So we have the right to make decrees. So we're going to be decreeing over our nation today. We're also going to be singing. I'm sure you know that whenever we sing, we don't just sing because we want to get excited. We don't just sing because we sing for singing's sake. We sing because it's a weapon. We sing because our songs are powerful. So the very first thing I'm going to say to you, and, and you know, as we make decrees, I want you to know that three things would happen. You know, the Holy Spirit moves and it stares the hearts of people, stares our hearts, and it leads us to do what is right. Angels are summoned. You know, the Bible says that as we speak his word, angels are move into operation. And thirdly, spiritual opposition gets destroyed when we speak his word. This morning, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to begin to give thanks. So, Father, Lord God, we want to first of all thank you for Nigeria. You know, as I reflected and I thought about Nigeria, I said the fact that Nigeria is still standing, Father, that is enough to thank you for. The fact that we have human resources so large that many are coming to say, Nigerians, we need you to come and populate our country. Father, we thank you. In the last few weeks, we have seen positive things regarding our economy. I know some people are saying, well, it's not enough. But do you remember that even when it was going to rain, all that man needed to see was that little hand and he said yes I believe the word do you believe that God indeed is doing something in our nation or is it the natural resources that this country has been blessed with in across the 36 states of this nation father we just thank you for the fact that he said Nigeria would not stand but the country is still standing for the fact that people thought that we would have broken out in war many countries have not been through what we've been through but yet we are still here you and I are able to even gather together on a Sunday many of us even take it for granted that some parts in this country you cannot even gather like this but you are in a more privileged position we are not going to be like those who don't understand that father we are resting at ease in Zion but God doesn't expect us to just rest at ease because guess what if we don't take the position if we don't do what we should do who knows what may happen in days to come father we just thank you father we thank you Lord we thank you You've been faithful, Lord, from the ages past. That is why your name is forevermore. So that's our song. The Father, we are thanking you from the ages past. Now we move on to the next declaration, which comes from Isaiah 60, verse 18. It says that violence shall no longer be heard in Nigeria, nor wasting, nor destruction within the borders of Nigeria. But we shall call our walls in Nigeria salvation and our gates praise. Terrorism becomes a thing of the past in this nation, an end to Boko Haram, an end to banditry, and an end to kidnappings. We will enter his gates with thanksgiving in hearts. We will enter his courts with praise. We will say this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice for he has made us glad. Oh, he has made us glad. We are so glad. And we rejoice for he has made us glad. He has made us glad. We are so glad. We will rejoice for he has made us the next thing I'm going to read is Genesis 1, 3 to 4. The Bible says, Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light in Nigeria. And God saw the light in Nigeria, that it was good, and he divided the light 
from the darkness. Father, we declare stable electricity will become our norm in this nation. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not science, it's not, it's not hard to do these things, but we pray that, Lord, the right decisions will be made for these things to work. We've heard a lot in the last few weeks about electricity. We've seen how things can work. Father, we declare that as you said, let there be light. There shall be light in this nation. In we Jesus. make a miracle walk, promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are oh, way maker way maker promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are way maker miracle walker promise keeper light in the darkness you know God is a promise keeper if God has spoken his promise over Nigeria I dare say to you he will keep his promise he's not like man that promises and fails the next declaration we're going to make is Psalm 126 1 to 3 when the Lord brought back the captivity of Nigeria we were like those who dream then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the nations of the world, the Lord has done great things for Nigeria. The Lord has done great things for them. And we are glad. Great things like what? People will begin to return back to this nation. Our natural resources will be harnessed and exported. Our education and health systems will function properly. He has done great things. Oh Lord, He has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Oh, yes, He's holy. Everybody say He has done great. He has. He has done. Every day, every moment, every time, Lord. He has done. Every day, every moment, every time, Jesus. Yeah. This for me is one of the most excitable ones. Second Kings 7, 1 to 2. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Tomorrow about this time, a seed of flour shall be sold for a shekel, and two seeds of barley for a shekel, and the gates of Samaria. But wait, so on whose office, huh, whose hand the king leaned and answered the man of God. And the man of God said to him, he said, he said even if the Lord were to open the heavens, could this thing be? And what did Elisha say? Elisha said, you will see it with your eyes, but you will not eat of it. You know, years ago, or just about a year, I remember God asking me. I met several people had come to pray as well, and we were talking about the foreign exchange. At that time, it hadn't even started to skyrocket. Then after you said it, you now think that, you know, it now started going out of proportion. And God was reminding me, do you remember the rubber band? When you begin to extend, and it seems like it's stretching, and you keep stretching, and all of a sudden, what happens when you stretch it? It just cuts. We're seeing it beginning to, beginning to come down. And that's what's, what is going to be there, such that when they say this exchange rate to other currencies, it will be so low that economists will be asking and saying, this is not possible. This is not possible. <laughs> Let's finish with this. Job 5, 12 to 13. He frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. Just wait. 
I love this version that says their hands will not be able to perform, will not be able to carry out their enterprise. In Nigeria, I don't know whether you know, some people have set up enterprises. These are well-organized destruction, well-organized disobedience. It's hard for you if you don't have the intelligence which we learned today to figure it out. But God says what? I will frustrate the devices of the crafty and their hands will not be able to carry out their enterprise. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Oh, who can stand against the Lord? No one can. Victory belongs to everybody say oh. Say oh. Victory, victory belongs to Jesus Victory belongs to me And so shall it be in Jesus' name, Amen